Hi, this is Keith Anderson with Flood Defense Group, and today I'm doing a quick instruction on one of the techniques that I use to do what I call tie-ins. Whenever you're butting your flood barrier up to a wall, whether it be a brick wall, a concrete wall, um, you know, how do you tie it in and make it watertight? This is one of the techniques that I use. In this case, we're using the NOAC box wall. Um, it's a barrier that doesn't require any fill material and you simply click it together for a really fast flood wall. So in this example, I'm going to go ahead and build this barrier in front of this garage. You'll notice I, I put the tip of it in. I put the tip here at the bottom. I seat it down here in the corner. I lift up on one side slightly and then it clicks together up top. Same thing, tip in. Lift it slightly, it comes right into place. Now, sometimes water can seep around the side of your barrier. Maybe you're building up against brick that has a big grout line, and that's a common place for water to want to come and um, come through. So in this case, and in this example, I'm using a simple sheet a strip of plastic sheeting, you can find it at Home Depot. You could, I mean, even use a hefty garbage bag and, and do the exact same thing. It's about a foot. I have Gorilla Tape on either side. So it's what I'll do is I tape one side to the box wall unit, end of the box wall. And then you'll notice there's also some tape for the ground. So on this side, I make sure the plastic has enough slack that it's not gonna be bearing the water weight. And then I will tape it to the wall that I'm butting into. I make sure to get it in the brick, in the grout lines, I rub it in all the way up while also making sure it's secure at the ground. Uh, duct tape. Sometimes, sometimes you might find that uh, the ground surfaces are wet and so you can get a good seal to the ground with the plastic by using sandbags. I find that sandbags are really heavy um, if you don't, you don't need a full sandbag. Sand socks are wonderful. I, I have four sand socks. Uh, it's less than a half a sandbag of sand. And you can easily stretch them out, put them on the plastic. It's a fantastic technique to get a good seal to the ground. So now I'm going to go ahead and do it to the other side. There we go. Now, as I get the tape, stuck to this brick, I make sure it's all the way to the ground, all the way inside the corners, up under the brick here, and then I squish it in all of these grout lines to make sure I get a good seal. Now as the water rises up, it's going to press against this plastic and the seal is it, the plastic doesn't move. Um, and so just for added effect, I've got my extra sand socks. And that's how you can easily and effectively seal off or tie your flood barrier in to a wall, um, you know, using plastic and some duct tape. Thanks for watching. All right, we've gone and sealed off this garage with our three units of box wall. We went ahead and we, you can see how we taped 
a piece of plastic that went to the brick as well as the box wall, making sure to smush it into the grout line. Um, it's doing extremely well. The only place it's seeping in is up underneath the brick. I didn't get the plastic up there quite tight enough, but the two side tied, both of these tie-ins, the total amount of water that's seeping out, you can go see, we essentially have an outlet coming out the garage to capture any water that, that does seep through. And you can see that's currently our seeping tray. We're really happy with it.